challenging practice. We have to draw rectangles, different rectangles that have an area of 12 square centimeters. So we have 1 by 12, that will give us 12 square centimeters. 2 by 6, that will give us 12 centimeters. And 3 by 4, that will give us 12 square centimeters. And we're going to do the same thing, but now with an area of 9 square centimeters. So 1 and 9 will give us 9 square centimeters. 3 and 3 will also give us 9 square centimeters. But in this case, this is not a rectangle. This is a square, so this is not the answer. Problem solving. So these two questions are slightly more tricky. For question two, the length of the painting is three times the width. So we have the length here, and this is three times the width. The parameter is 64 inches. So if we think about a the parameter, parameter essentially means length times 2 plus width times 2. There's two lengths over here and two widths over here. So if we have two of two lengths, there will be six units. And we have two widths, there will be two units. So if you have two lengths and two widths over here, it will be eight units. So that's why we have eight units over here, where every one of these is one unit. This is one unit. So altogether, we have eight units for the parameter, and the parameter is 64. So one unit is eight inches. So to find the length, the length has three units, one, two, three. So the length would be 24 inches. For question three, the length of a dog run is twice the width. So it is twice the width. So we have two units here and one unit here. The area is 25, the, eight, the area is 50 square yards. So in this case, if the whole thing is 50 square yards, so one of these must be 25. So this must be 25 square yards, this must be 25 square yards. In order for this square over here to have an area of 25 square yards, it must have a dimension of five and five. Similarly, for this square over here to have a area of 25, it must be five and five over here. So now we're supposed to find the length and width of the dog run. So the length in this case would be 10 yards. So 10 is from here, the two fives add to 10. And the width would be five yards. Problem solving. Question four. So we have 15 over here, eight over here, and over here, it should also be 15. So the amount of fencing material needed would be 15 plus 15 plus 8, which is 38 meters. Question 5 is a little bit more tricky. So over here, we have to find out how much of the floor is covered with carpet. So we can redraw the whole thing here to make it bigger. And this is the carpet. So we can, so this is the carpet, we can maybe highlight it and make it a different color. So this is the carpet. So we have to find the area of this carpet over here. So basically what we can do is this. So we can, so let's put down the dimensions first. This is 0 0.5 feet. And this is also 0 0.5 feet. And this is five feet. So what we can do is to shift the part of the parallelogram to the other side. So we can draw our line. So students would be able to see that the area over here is the same as the area over here. So what we are going to do is to shift this area here to this side. So effectively, what you're having is a rectangle where the width is 
0 0.5 and the height is 5 feet. So in this case, the area of the parallelogram, which is also to equals to the area of the new rectangle, will be 5 times 0 0.5, which is 2.5 square feet. Question 6, estimating. So we would be counting the number of squares over here. So if we have a square where more than half the area is covered, it is considered a full square. If less than half the area of a square is covered, it is not considered a full square. So if we count the number of full squares over here, it should be 43. So the area is 43 square inches. Problem solving. Question 1. So we have to form as many squares as possible from the figure over here. So for question 1, if each square is 2 centimeters long, how many squares can we get? So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We will have 19 squares if they are 2 centimeters long. And if they are 3 centimeters long, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If it is 4 centimeters long, it would be 1, 2, 3. For question 2 over here, with a figure here that is folded with the flaps shown. So one flap is here. So another flap would have to be here. Another flap would have to be here. And another flap would have to be here. So the effective area is actually twice of the square. So it will be 8 times 8, that's area of 1 square. And it should be double that because the flaps now cover the same area as the previous square. So the answer is 1 to 8. Question 3. So the figure shows two squares. The area of the unshaded area is 9. So the unshaded area would be this over here. This is the unshaded area. And this is 9 square feet. So if the sides of both squares are whole numbers, find the parameter of the unshaded part. So we can use try and error. So for example, if we, we can try if and see if this is 5 and 5, 3 and 3, what will be the area of the unshaded part? So in this case, the unshaded area would be 25 minus 9, which is 16. So in this case, that's not correct. So we can try a different number. So maybe you can try 3, 5 and in this case, maybe 4. We can try 4 over here. So it will be 25 minus 16. That will give us 9 square feet which is what we want. So in this case, the parameter of the unshaded part, the parameter of the unshaded part, so let's draw this bigger. So this is the square that we have over here. And this is what we have. So this is 4, this is 4, this is 5, and this is 5. So now we have to figure out the rest of the dimensions. So in this case, this has to be 1. Since this is 5, and we take away 4, so that is 1. And we also have to figure this out. This also has to be 1 since this whole thing is 5. And we have to take away 4. So to find the parameter, that means this is the parameter. Find the parameter of the unshaded part. The parameter in this case would have to be 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1, which is 10 plus 6 which is 16 feet.